we are going to discuss the basics of ATP, that is, adenosine triphosphate and its significance. We will also discuss role of its three phosphate molecules in making it the energy currency of the cell and the significance of magnesium ion in balancing the structure during its catalytic activity. For the fundamental physiological functions that are essential for our survival, we all require energy. You may have thought about how our bodies produce this energy. What form does this energy take? Now let us understand why ATP is vital for metabolic functions. The only energy source in our body that we can use directly is adenosine triphosphate, or ATP in short. Before it could be used for other processes, the body transforms all ingested nutrients into ATP. You might be wondering how is ATP produced biologically? The body can manufacture ATP through a variety of methods. Both aerobic and anaerobic circumstances can result in the creation of ATP. We will discuss the two primary processes, cellular respiration and anaerobic respiration, which generate ATP. Let's first talk about cellular respiration. The generation of ATP is achieved majorly through the process of oxidative phosphorylation. In this process, several electrons move through various complexes in mitochondrial membrane, which pumps protons against the gradient. This proton motive force then helps manufacture ATP molecules. Moving on to the anaerobic respiration. When oxygen is not accessible during cellular respiration, anaerobic respiration takes place. Only two molecules of ATP are produced in this process for every molecule of glucose. This is because the lack of oxygen produces lactic acid fermentation during cellular respiration, which requires the oxidation of NADH molecules to continue the reaction. Structurally, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, has three phosphate molecules, which make it a high-energy compound. The breakdown of ATP into ADP and inorganic phosphate releases a lot of energy, which can be used for various cellular activities. This high-energy compound is stabilized during a catalytic process via magnesium ions. These magnesium ions balance out the electrostatic tension between the negatively charged phosphate groups. The presence of two phosphate molecules in ADP doesn't give as much thermodynamical reactivity as the three phosphate molecules given in ATP. The image here indicates the ATP structure having an adenosine base on the right and three phosphate groups on the left. One phosphate is released in the form of inorganic phosphate during ATP hydrolysis to release energy. Now let us take some examples. Cells need energy to drive metabolic events that would not happen naturally to transfer necessary molecules across membranes and to do mechanical labor, such as moving muscles. ATP fulfills these energy needs. However, chemical energy cannot be stored by ATP. Lipids and carbohydrates such as glycogen serve this purpose. ATP is created when energy from storage molecules is required by the cell. ATP gives energy to a variety of biological functions in living cells, including muscular contraction, nerve impulse transmission, condensate dissolving, and chemical synthesis. It is frequently called the molecular unit of currency of intracellular energy transfer and is present in all known forms of life. Every day, the human body recycles as much ATP as its body weight. Additionally, ATP serves as a coenzyme and a precursor to DNA and RNA.